Hey guys, so uh, this is like a weird setup for me. So I'm like hunched over because I'm taller than the highest setting on my tripod. But uh, what I'm doing right now is I just finished filming a get ready with me uh, for this look that I'm wearing my face, which you can't see because I'm wearing glasses. But what I also really need to do today is declutter my makeup room like in a big way. Like I have a serious, serious pile up of stuff that I bought, PR stuff, things like that, that really need to get organized so that I can either get rid of stuff that I'm not gonna use anymore, give it to family, or put it in giveaways for you guys, which by the way, will be coming up on Instagram shortly, uh, if not already up there when you're watching this video. So if you're not following me on Instagram, you might wanna do that, but uh, I'm gonna take you with me behind the scenes. Uh, I actually set up my real deal camera to do this today because normally I would just vlog on my phone, but I already have all my shit out, so why not use the proper equipment while it's here, right? Totally. So I don't know how this lighting's gonna really work because I haven't ever used it in this setup before. I just kind of turned everything around. So hopefully this is good. I'm gonna do a little bit of it on my point and shoot as I go around the room. Uh, and yeah, that's what we're gonna do. So uh, let's dive into the shit that I have laying around over here and uh, see what's what because um, I really got to organize this stuff and I figured why not have you guys hang out and do it with me because I love when people do that. Like I love when people show me what they have behind the scenes. It makes me feel like I'm going through somebody's purse that I'm not supposed to. That sounds creepy, but that's how I feel. <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna start by organizing some Smashbox stuff and uh, we're gonna just go through the room and we're gonna see what we can get accomplished today. One of the things that we need to put into drawers ASAP is this new stuff from Smashbox that I did swatches of the other day and I also am wearing it in the look that I just recorded today. As much as I love this PR packaging, it's stunningly beautiful and it's obviously very expensive and it makes me feel terrible to throw it out. But I can't keep things like this sitting around forever because I'll show you what happens, okay? Do you wanna see what happens? So what happens is I find myself getting especially attached to really beautiful PR packaging like this, but then they just wind up sitting around in my office forever taking up space, which is the same case with this Mac Nicki Minaj collection because look at Nicki, she looks fantastic. I don't wanna throw her out, but I kinda have to. So what I'm gonna do right now is grab some makeup bags that I have because I don't want those things to necessarily get like completely discarded in with the rest of the stuff that I've had for longer just because I haven't really had a chance to use all of it yet as much as I would like to. So I'm gonna pick up some of these like laying around makeup bags that I have got over here and organize it into those and then put it into the drawers, which you may remember from my last organization video that um, I will link down below in case you haven't watched that yet. What I'm gonna do first is put all of these Smashbox lipsticks into one of these beautiful, I mean, can you guys look at that? Look how gorgeous this makeup bag is from Nabla. First of all, let me just say, if you don't know about Nabla Cosmetics, you're sleeping on a brand that's gonna be popping in a few years because their shit is awesome and I love them. They're a brand from Italy and they're so good. Yeah, they sent a couple of these large makeup bags with their last collection, so I'm gonna use it to store these Smashbox lipsticks. So that way, when I go into my Smashbox drawer, I can find them easily because otherwise, everything just starts blending together and your girl gets mad confused. All right, they're all in there. I'm gonna pop this in my drawer of Smashbox stuff. Um, and then I'm gonna do the same for the na 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 na, the Mac Nikki collection because that needs to stay a little separate too because it's a little bit old at this point. So I don't really feel like I need to use it for the sake of you guys, but I actually really love a lot of the colors in that collection. So I want to remember to actually wear them in real life. Oh my God, this is the heaviest packaging in the world. Ugh. All right, I have another one of those Nabla bags and I'm just gonna put the Mac Nikki collection right in that too. Oh, it's right behind the camera, slide it out. These are smaller, I think I could fit these in a smaller bag. All right, I'm gonna put them in this bag from Thrive.
this shit has gotten nuts. Like this is like six levels deep. This drawer weighs easily 300 pounds. I'm not exaggerating. I am exaggerating, that's a lie, but holy shit. So uh, that's why this is gonna be separate because otherwise it's going to get lost in the abyss. And dear Mac, if you're watching this, I love you absolutely dearly, but if you could maybe indicate the color of your lipsticks on the lipsticks, that would be incredibly helpful for us makeup bloggers of the world. <laughs> Next, I have this whole section over here. Um, these are empty makeup bags, and that has a couple of things in it that need to get organized. In there, we have some uh, Tattoo Junkie lip kits that need to be put in a giveaway because they're gorgeous, but I have so many of them, and I have repeat colors, so some of you guys are gonna get some of those in a giveaway. I'm also gonna give away a few of these Thrive Cosmetics liquid lipsticks because also, they are incredible quality, but I haven't opened most of them because I just really haven't even had a chance and I have a lot of very similar colors. Also, these are the fake fangs that I use at Halloween, which need to get put away for next year. Okay. But that should give you guys like a reference point of like how long it's been since I actually have gone through this shit and cleaned it out. Like there are Halloween fangs still hanging around and we're doing Christmas tutorials. I look like I'm a little dark right now. So hopefully uh, we can find a good angle for you guys to watch me do this on this side. If that blush survived, I'm gonna be fucking shocked. <gasps> it lived, it lived. This is the bag of giveaway stuff. I'm going to just add this. The little containers that I keep the stuff that I wanna to get to in are actually old glossy box boxes. I used to love glossy box so much back in the day, um, but now I feel like it's kind of pointless for me to pay every month when I know I'm not really gonna to get to a lot of the products anyway. I'm like literally giving away bags of products over here. Um, but uh, if you guys have any subscriptions like for skincare only that you know about that you would recommend, please hit a bitch up. Let me know in a comment because I am like really trying to up my skincare game these days. And I would love it if I got to try new stuff every month. So if you know of anything, please let me know. Skincare only, no makeup. Hello. Hi. Hi, what's up? Um, I have a pile of garbage on the floor over here, which will have to go out with my recycling later. Wait, it's Sunday. It has to go out tonight, so that's gonna be annoying, but it's gotta get done. So now it's time to tackle the biggest beast, and that is the desk where I actually do my makeup every day. So I'm gonna turn around and uh, we're gonna go to the other side of the room where shit gets real. Some of you may remember this desk from the last organization video. Uh, it's actually gotten so fucking disorganized that it's embarrassing. This is the other little side table that I use to hold things. That's my little tripod that I use when I do live streams. Hasn't been working well, just drops my phone on the floor, so wouldn't recommend that. And this is the backdrop where I film, and when I film, I pull this little table out and I sit behind it and the lighting is over here. So right now the stuff that I used to film today is on there still, so I'm gonna put that away and I'm gonna just put my brushes there so they're on the side because um, I'm going to clean them because they are all dirty. And I'm just gonna put this stuff in the drawers where it belongs and then we're gonna tackle this mess. We're gonna tackle it. I don't want to, I really don't want to, but I gotta get it done.
Okay, so here is how the desk looks after I just organized all of that. I really should move everything off and actually clean underneath it. I just quite frankly don't have it in me today to do that. This is looking a little bit better. These brushes are going downstairs to get cleaned. And uh, next, all I really need to do is put all these lights in order and throw out that garbage. So the garbage men can come, well the recycling men, can come take it. Uh, over here I have all of my giveaway stuff organized. This is some stuff that I still want to use within the next week. All of my photography and sound equipment over there. By the way, this is like where I do my actual makeup day to day and that's where I do my makeup when I'm on camera. So I do keep them a little bit separate. And case number one for why you should organize your makeup, I didn't even know I had this. I forgot that I had that primer and I like it. So now I'm gonna be able to use that again this week. Um, also, I used those Lysol wipes to wipe down my palettes because uh, I don't know if I mentioned this, I think I did mention this in the last organization vlog that I did, but um, those are the best wipes in the world if you want to clean your makeup. And uh, I also need to clean my mirror, but that needs Windex and I have to go downstairs and get that. Overall though, um, I think I'm done. I think I'm finished for the day. So uh, I'm gonna hop off here. I hope you enjoyed this little like sneak peek behind the scenes, like vloggy type thing. Um, you guys seem to enjoy the last one. So I figured that maybe I would take you with me for this again. Um, it just needed to be done. It just needed to be done. I'm gonna go and pour all this footage and clean that giant pile of brushes that's behind me because they have to get cleaned. They're so filthy and there's a lot of glitter in there and I'm scared. Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it because that really helps me out. I always appreciate it. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already because that is the best way for us to hang out here on YouTube weekly, bi-weekly, several times a weekly. I don't know, it depends, but usually at least twice a week. Also, feel free to follow me on social media. I'm at Miss Quinface on Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, anywhere that you wanna find me, I'm at Miss Quinface, but I am most active on Instagram. Uh, I post there every single day. And um, if you wanna get in touch with me, a great way to do that is Twitter. So hit me up over there, say hello, let's talk about makeup, have a good time. And uh, yeah, I think that's it for now. Uh, I will see you in the next one. Bye.